So here's why I think Apex Legends is still dying. So Apex Legends was released in 2019 and quickly distinguished itself as one of the top three battle royales, which was following behind Fortnite and many others. So following the success for Apex Legends, the CEO would eventually, you know, put out a post saying that they had a five to 10 year plan for Apex. But Apex is struggling to even get over 100k peak players. So I've been looking around, reading players' complaints, and came up with my own reasons to why Apex Legends went from a peak number of 620,000 players to 75k. So I started playing Apex Legends like in the middle of Season 7 and instantly got hooked on that Apex Legends sauce. But as the seasons went, Apex Legends problems kept growing and growing. So the things that I'm really going to bring up are all the things that I feel are causing the downfall of Apex Legends and leading to the players quitting like on a day-to-day -day basis. So cheaters and hackers is like the first thing players bring up in Apex Legends. Because if it's not a 6-man or 9-man players on console, it's the hackers ruining the game for fun or for profit. For many, rank is just unbearable leading to players getting tired and leaving. So as of season 23, EA and Respawn have banned any Linux players, which is a tiny player base. It's like on the Steam Deck or something like that. Apparently the system can distinguish between, you know, is it a Steam Deck or is it like a Linux software, you know, playing in the background. But it still didn't stop the hackers from trying to find a way back into the game. It's not as much as before, but there's still hackers in the game. And I do understand that dealing with hackers is like an ongoing battle and it never stops. So even though it took the player base, dropping by more than 50% for respawn to upgrade their security, the damage has already been done and players just are sick of EA, or have been sick of EA for a while now. Greed is at the very top of what's killing Apex Legends right now. And yes, I do understand Apex is a free to play game and they need to make their money somehow. But as the years go by, Apex has lost all of its soul and it's like a husk of its past self. So all I see in this game is whenever EA is underperforming, they think they can just throw a few, you know, Apex packs, you know, here and there you go, sprinkle it up, players are about to just be happy and they proceed to just start jamming collection events and milestone events down our throats. This has gotten so bad to the point that this game has so many problems, but god forbid the store goes down, it's the first thing that gets fixed. So I know that EA and Respawn just show that Apex Legends is a cash cow that they just will milk dry while doing the bare minimum to keep the player base happy. So when it comes to content, I've said it before and I'll say it again, for everybody in the back, skins are not content. They never was and it never should be. Apex Legends should have led to a bunch of spin-off games probably, but instead they just scrapped everything. So if they would have just created a couple stories like spin-off games and stuff like that, it would have brought more players back into the game. So imagine you finish Time Falter or even one that follows Apex Legends characters like Loba and Revenant storyline, you know, hypothetically. It had the potential of being a full game in itself, but instead they wanted to invest the bare minimum and make it a mini story. And if they would have made it into a full game, they could have gotten more players invested. And then a week after the release, they could have made, you know, like a collection event to celebrate the release of the game on like the battle royale side of it. Where let's say they gave the characters special skins in the story and the only way to get it, it was through the collection event so that it would connect in a way. You know, give the casual players and content creators something fun because I'm sure that even the pros would play a full game so that they can connect with the, you know, Apex community. Which would lead to players, you know, wanting to play it and experiencing the fun itself. Hell, this could have even left to like a release for like a legendary edition with like a special one of a time skin for Loba and Revenant. Like how Halo 3 and even Halo Reach used to do it. Like if Apex would have like a special like flaming helmet like they did like Halo Reach, that would have been freaking awesome. But I don't know, lore and story can go a long way to bring a community together, but EA isn't interested in that fun stuff. In my opinion, players that decide to grind to pred within the first day should have to have higher queue times. Let the lobbies fill up before they're able to just getting thrown with silvers and golds. And I know those players are just going to cry about it and say people should just get good and rank up faster. And listen, I know Apex is like 20% sweats and like majority are all casuals who are just trying to rank up and at least try to enjoy the game as much as they can. Because Apex right now is nothing but depressing most of the time because of how terrible the matchmaking is at the moment. Hell, I would even agree with what Imperial Hell and Timmy said in one of the interviews that they should remove like three stack teams after hitting Diamond where you can even solo queue or you can even dual queue after hitting a specific rank. And out of both of those options, I would choose the first one, honestly. 
Pubs, on the other hand, is a different matter. EA is always saying that, you know, skill-based matchmaking is better because it keeps players more engaged and there's more, you know, retention, but it's not worth it when you're losing the community. You're better off just shutting off skill-based matchmaking so people can just have fun and enjoy and just chill with, like, the team, the boys, the gals, whatever, whoever the hell they play with. So they could just kill grind, you know, be silly, just have conversations, which in turns we make regular players come in. Also, content creators can have fun too, you know, with the community and their viewers and all that nonsense. So if I have a little bonus, one more thing I want to talk about is milestones need to stop, you know, being a thousand apex coins. Yeah, at the beginning you get one for a hundred coins, then it goes up to like 300 coins, then 500 coins, and then it goes to 700 coins, but it's not even worth it. You're giving us 44 packs for an heirloom that should be a crime, and that's insane. And maybe, you know, one time EA should just make it as a battle pass reward and watch the player base skyrocket. Just saying, you know, something for people to actually grind for. And there's a couple more things that I wanted to bring up, but depending on how this video goes, if people want to hear more, you know, hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know if you enjoy this gameplay content I have. I was playing Octane in the new LTM. It was pretty fun. See you guys later. Must be on something this match, holy shwami. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I like walk right into that. Dude, I didn't mean to do that. I just threw my match. Me, please. It is definitely not a trap.